like I said, how Google can help you to get into that technology that created something amazing in big quantity in seconds like that. Because they learn a lot from human creativity. You know, it's not easy to say that, you know, a, a, a picture uh, of a big band behind the guy, something like that, can machine know about that? Without learning from ourselves, from our people? No. It learns from millions of pictures, of videos, of people's behavior to understand that what kind of picture, what kind of emotions that they can capture in that kind of, of uh, creativity. So remember that you know the, the people, our, uh, our people in the industry are still key persons who play the crucial roles in bringing the technology, applying the technology to the, to, to the campaigns that we are working on. So without that kind of things, you know, uh, technology cannot do anything. Now if you have, uh, you have a lot of money to subscribe the most sophisticated technology, you can reach to the right people, but if you send the wrong messages, the wrong images, you fail. You still fail, okay? See, uh, advertising in Facebook, you open Facebook today, you see a lot of advertising there, but do you touch it? Do you click it? No. Most of the time you don't, because it doesn't attract you. It doesn't impress you, because it's, it's a sent in the wrong way. You don't learn it. So remember, you can reach them, but how to get them interested, how to get them noticed is a different, different story. And it's all relies on the creativity in the creative mind of the human being. That's how you know traditional advertising and digital advertising still have something in common. And again, we cannot die. <laughs> okay. All right. We got time maybe for one or two questions regarding assessment or whatever you want to ask. Any questions? All right, soon thinking about that. Uh, so I had one question. If you are, you are creative director or traditional creative director like Madman, uh, copywriter, living in big data uh, context, what kind of skill do we need to learn on top of traditional creativity? Right. A very good question, actually. Um, I just recently gave a speech to my staff, whole company, about uh, creative thinking. And uh, one message I sent to them is, before, you look at the, ma the market as one single person, one single market. You think that the whole market thinks the same thing, same way, right? It's the traditional way. But today, with this kind of technology, you must look at the markets as millions of different markets. Although they have some something in common, but they are very much different. And the creative people do not think about you know one crazy idea anymore, but how to adapt that into you know hundreds or thousands of different versions that can you know reach to different segments in your, your markets. So today, the uh, the creative directors are more busy even more difficult, more difficult. But it's more in interesting because, you know, uh, the good thing is that you know in details about the insights of each different groups of people before you have to guess, you dream and you imagine that you, you know them. But today, technology helps you to do that. Technology helps you to get into the sight of the audience. So that's something, you know, uh, some food for thought better food for thought for the creative people. That answer your question? Yes, yes, a lot. Okay. Other questions before we go to lunch? Yes, please, go ahead. Um, I wanted you to share something about your experience with the media. Um, we, we got into the uh, relationship between traditional and digital um, media. Mm -hmm. So from your experience, what you can still see the importance of traditional media in the um, everyday um, tasks or 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I just give you a very uh, recent uh, uh, case study. Sabeco, uh, years ago. Uh, that brand um, now changing the owner, right? It's moving to a, a foreign company already. And that's why I have a chance to work with them. Otherwise, you know, <laughs> you don't have it. Um, and uh, there's a campaign just recently uh, uh, during Ted holidays. We, uh, we sent 1,000 uh, good workers, successful workers from the south to the north for, for holidays, going home. It's a campaign. Uh, and um, we, uh, we use a lot of traditional and digital at the same time. Uh, how we do that? It's, it's a communication, you know, uh, integrated communication campaign. It's not just advertising, or no, just not uh, not PR. So we have to do uh, uh, traditional media in terms of getting uh, the uh, uh, newspapers, magazine, even television to get involved into our uh, event. They have to come to to our event to cover uh, the, the event. Not only one one event, but a series of events from announcement. Uh, to execution, you know, and, and also uh, the, uh, um, the, the uh, uh, how you say, the taking off zero money for, uh, for the workers in the Internet airport, things like that. And also we have announced that on uh, traditional media uh, that we are running the, the campaign. We have pre uh, and we tell people that, okay, uh, we are going to come to uh, industrial zones around Ho Chi Minh City and select the right people. Uh, and we use a lot of tech, uh, uh, digital, of course, mostly in uh, uh, in um, uh, social media to uh, uh, get people excited about that. We get people to tell stories about their friends, family, family members, who they suggest that they, uh, these people are good, they, these people are successful, and you should help them to bring them to um, and uh, we share those stories. We use KOLs, using KOLs to share the stories and get them excited into that. We use Fanpage. Uh, we, uh, we have Fanpage to uh, have games, mini games in there to promote the event. And uh, you know, a lot of things. Uh, it lasts about three months for the whole campaign like that. And uh, it, it's, uh, we just got in the final report. Uh, last week, and uh, the campaign became, became the third largest campaign all over Vietnam uh, for uh, interactions, racial, to the community. And it becomes number one in drink industry, number one in drinks, and number three in the, the whole world, including Momo, Samsung, and everything. So that, that's the kind of uh, combination. Remember that. We cannot ignore traditional media because they are reliable. Some of them are not reliable, but in general, they are reliable, trustful, and uh, people still look at traditional media to confirm what the the messages, the information they yeah. have. Um, so it's still very very important. But the way to use that must be a little bit different. You know, uh, before they just uh, book a slot. Spend some money, buy a slot, and that's today. No, you have to get them engaged into the new activities. <laughs>